Now we usually turn to our morning coffee to give us a little extra pep in our step. Well, we're going to pep that step a little bit more and we're gonna make our coffee Irish. Hi, I am Julia Carely and this is Mix It. You know what that means, sing it with me. It's cocktail time. Summer is coming to an end. Vacations are over, kids are going back to school, you are going back to the grind. So this is my take on an Irish coffee, only because it's still a little hot outside, we're gonna make it iced, and we're gonna make it a little bit more fun Julia style. Now, as you know, I never know what to name these drinks. I just make them, you name them in our comments below. Last mix it, that creamy coconut margarita, and M on Facebook called it a coconut caroly. Thanks, Anne. We are going to start by making our whipped cream. So I have my lock and lock bowl that's been chilling in the fridge. We're going to add some heavy whipping cream. And then we're gonna use an immersion blender, my favorite tool in a kitchen. I use it for everything. Here we go. Woo! That was a close one, my friends. Woo! <laughs> when you make this whipped cream, it's like all of a sudden the perfect texture and then it's too much. So keep your eye on it. Perfect. I'm going to want all this cream because it's kind of the best part. That and the whiskey. So I love iced coffee. I do, but I hate when it gets all watered down. So I thought, hey, why don't we make the ice coffee? Found this new brand here called New Range and they make these amazing cold brews. So I poured this into my ice tray and froze it overnight and that's gonna be our cubes for our drink. Kind of cool, right? We're gonna add two of these cubes, add some ice to our trusty shaker and we're going to put all of our spirits right into the shaker, starting with the Irish whiskey. Can't be an Irish coffee without your Irish whiskey, right? Right. We're gonna do an ounce and a half. It is a little bit sweet, has a little hint of spice to it. It's just that perfect smooth whiskey. Now we're gonna do a little bit of butterscotch schnapps. Kind of gives it like a warm maple-y feel. I'm gonna tell you why I did that at the very end. Wait for it. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce there. Remember, you can always add more, take out a little, cause there's no rules in cocktailing. And then a little touch of an Irish cream. Gives it that smooth, creamy texture, like a little touch of cream to your coffee. Just half an ounce, that's all I need. Let's go ahead and give this baby a shake. Perfect. We're gonna strain that right over our cold brew cubes. And then we're gonna finish it with a little bit more of our new range cold brew. Now they have different flavors, PS, but since we had a lot of flavors going on here, I thought I would just do the black cold brew. Now, we can't forget about our lightly whipped cream that we made, right? Spoon that right on top. A little dash of cinnamon. Why is there bacon on the table? Well, we put that butterscotch schnapps in here because it has that mapley taste. We're gonna add bacon as our garnish so you get a little salty flair as well. Okay, I'm going in because I cannot wait. Oh yeah, oh that's good. That Irish whiskey gives a little sweet, a little smooth, a little spicy. Pair that with this really delicious lightly whipped cream for texture, that butterscotch schnapps gives it like a little mapley action. So you pair that with a little bite of bacon. Oh, <laughs> oh this is absolutely delicious. I'm going back in. In the meantime, top of the morning, let's make it Irish. 